As of today, Ghent counts a new centenarian, the Anglo-Belgian Corporation, located at the Wiedalkai, celebrates her 100 years existence. Around 1910, a poor gas engine manufacturer called Ongina was slowly losing commercial terrain. The time was right to switch to a new technology. The engines became semi-diesel, and in 1912, a new company arises from Ongina's foundations, the Anglo-Belgian Company. It was George Karls who sat down together with Marcel and Richard Drury on the 26th of October 1912 in the office of Notary Forbe at number 30 High Street in Ghent. According to the records, the very first ABC board meeting in Notary Forbe's office took one full hour. Startup capital was 500,000 Belgian francs. The foundation charter included the company's goal to develop engines to drive machinery, ships, locomotives and tractors. The Karls family already had a lot of experience in building engines. They participated at the World Fair held in the city of Liège in 1905. On September 29, 1913, Diesel and Karls boarded the cruiser the SS Dresden to attend a conference in London. However, on that particular night, Rudolf Diesel mysteriously disappeared. Some say he fell overboard. Others suspect the German Secret Service might have pushed him as they feared the possibility of Diesel going to sell his know-how to the English. At that time, the beginning of the First World War was very close. Due to motivated and skilled personnel and in-house knowledge, ABC developed from its own factory floors to a well-known high-quality engine constructor. Already in the early 50s, ABC had a commercial stronghold on Congolese soil in Africa. On the opposite side of the Congo River, the company built a thermal power plant in 2005, supporting the largest hydro power station in Brazzaville. Impossible without the presence of ABC engines. All over the whole world, ABC engines are frequently chosen for fishing vessels, even to operate down in the rough waters of Nova Zembla. In Germany, Voigt's most powerful diesel hydraulic locomotives are driven by the biggest ABC engines. A big brewery in Cambodia, known for the production of famous Tiger beer, is powered by electricity coming from ABC gensets. And French Navy vessels operating in the Indian Ocean are also equipped with ABCs. Having interest in ancient engine technology can turn into a true passion, is quoted by Jean Strauff, an ABC engine collector. This engine, for example, dates from 1934 and is a one-cylinder, two-stroke hot bulb engine. The running 3DU three-cylinder used to be installed at the former Sabina in Melsbruck in April 1955. The engine used to be one of the two power generators. And if clean white smoke appears from the chimney, we're definitely talking about a 2RQ. ABC diesel engines and the Belgian railway company NMBS have been partners for many years. All diesel locomotives, beginning with number 77 or 78, are driven by an ABC 6DZC engine. A freight train of the NMBS pulls numerously fully loaded wagons through the scenery, driven by a powerful ABC engine. 38 railway wagons are being pushed up the slope by a diesel locomotive down at the railway yard in Antwerp. The shunt man detaches the wagons so they can glide down the hill to be picked up and set into place by a computer-controlled system. A 12-cylinder ABC engine of 3,000 horsepower generates electricity and warms two swimming pools in the Pieter van den Hochenbun Swimming Centre in the Netherlands and the fuel, lard or pork grease, progressive and at least remarkable. For real heavy duties, you may need to rely on ABC engines. They are strong, reliable and durable. These features are daily experienced at the raw material transfer company Ovet in Ternozen, the Netherlands. Zwart Technique, with head office in the Netherlands, is also representing ABC in Angola and Tanzania, 
and is marketing thermal power plants locally and worldwide. The soothing sound coming from medium speed engines is very accessible for a greater audience, according to engine builders. In order to transport an 18-ton engine over a long distance, a specialized transport company comes into the picture. In this case, they will ensure a safe and stable journey, hauling the package to the port of Antwerp, where it will be shipped to the port of Oran in Algeria. The Antwerp Towing Company praises ABC engines for their high torque and responsiveness, daily proven in their daily operation. Therefore, almost every tugboat and pilot boat operating in the port of Antwerp is equipped with an ABC engine. No piece of cake. Two small but powerful tugs take in tow a giant container vessel from the quay in open waters. Here, ABC engines guarantee a safe task pulling the stern and steering the aft, ensuring that the vessel will not deviate from the set route. For anyone still doubting the performance of the ABC engine, this is the Union Koala, full throttle ahead. Also, the firm presence in the tugboats of Boluda, which operate in various ports in France and Spain, are the proof of ABC's excellence. At every turn, a new engine is built into a ship somewhere. It's a big moment for every co-worker. And if you could enjoy good weather conditions at the same time as here in Zeebruges, you might call that a good day at work. Hundreds of skippers in the wheelhouse of their inland vessels, how small or how big, they all sail with ABC engines from generation to generation. ABC is also well known in the fishery industry. The catch at sea is usually satisfying. One can tell by the well-filled baskets waiting for customers in many different fish markets along the coast. Thanks to these fishermen and their crew, we can still enjoy freshly caught fish on our plates. Even a multinational company in dredging, like Yonder Null, values a strong, solid engine on his performance and its durability. So the conclusion is quite obvious. All ships and machines shown here are, of course, driven by ABC engines. Nowadays, all ABC engines are designed in 3D by means of high-end Katia software. On a regular base, you might encounter customers and official representatives at ABC's headquarters who come from far places to stay tuned with the latest knowledge. ABC's centennial existence was one of the triggers to start the development of the DL36 engine, engineering excellence with 365mm bore designed to meet the most stringent emission levels of 2016. The new engine family will reach outputs over 10,000 kilowatts whilst keeping its ecological footprint at the minimum. The current power range will double and that will be the key to enter new markets. Besides experience with hybrid drives, ABC has gained quite some expertise in running on alternative fuels, coming from vegetable oils over animal fats to natural and biogas. We're grateful for the past, but are working eagerly and we are hopeful for the future. Nevertheless, our slogan is a history of building the future, a future built on history.